The controllers on the tower behind me and across the country are up there working without pay to ensure that two million passengers in the air every day are safe. But one of the most stressful jobs in the country is now a lot more stressful. What is the 4372? Fighting for their paychecks, 13,000 air traffic controllers suing the Trump administration for unlawfully depriving them of their earned wages. They still have to pay child care. They still have to put gas in their car. Trisha Pasiri Divik and her husband are both controllers with no income. They lost their home in a California wildfire last year. My biggest worry is to not be able to provide a sense of security and stability for my children. Now, with nearly a million government workers getting zeros on their paychecks, communities are responding. In Colorado, the Food Bank of the Rockies is expecting a surge of people in need. We want to let them know that food assistance is available. Grocery stores are offering food, cell phone companies offering flexible payments, credit cards and banks waiving fees and offering financial aid. In Fairfax County, Virginia, hundreds of applicants today for substitute teacher positions, including furloughed government worker Anandi Diamond. I just thought to myself, well, if I can't make money doing the thing I do, I'm going to make money doing the thing I used to do. The ripple effect evident on Washington's near empty streets. I'm I'm absolutely terrified. Uber driver Robert Briskman is in trouble. Normally I'd be making $1700 a week. That's my about average. Now I'm making maybe 250 300. No kidding. No kidding. You know, I have to buy my own groceries and I have to pay my my mortgage. Day 21 and the shutdown continues. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.